In this video, we will add the comment section of each post. Let's start this by going at the end and after our row. So we have our row right here and we will go after. We will say a container right here. And then this container will have a certain padding. Argument, the padding takes the edge and sets dot all. And we will use the value of 15. Okay, we'll format document. And then this was just to create a container with a little padding inside. Okay, after that, what we can do is create the child that will be a column. So we have the child argument that will get the widget column. Here we go, we take this one. And then inside this one, we will have multiple widgets. So we use the children argument. And then this is the time to use something new. Call, uh, instead of just putting the text, we'll use something new, call it the rich text. So the rich text will allow us to put text one after the other, but with different style. So one will be bold and the others not, by example. So let's use rich text like this. The rich text take a text span inside the text. So we'll use a text span or a widget. Perfect. Uh, I will then format document. I will put my comma and format document. The text span take a children. So multiple widget inside. And it is maybe a little bit confusing, but inside this text span, you will use another text span like this. And this other text span will take a uh, text inside. And to tell Flutter that it is uh, something inside, we we'll need to put those square bracket. Okay, so we use the square bracket to tell Flutter that this is a list. And inside we put the text span inside. I will put my comma, my comma and format document. Good. So we have a text span. This one will take by example, the text inside and it will be like it by just like this. So as you can see, we have, uh, we will have something right here, but we will need to change the color to see it. First of all, we can control everything from one place and it is from here. We can control the style of everyone, every children from this text span. So we use the text style and inside this one, we will say that the color, so the argument color, will use the colors that black. So every text will be black inside. Good. Next thing, we will need to add um, something else after this one. So we use the same text pan, we copy and we paste right under. And this one will be, so I will put a space and I will say profile name. By example, if it is the profile name of the person and this profile name will need to be uh, bold. So we use another style and this will override the style right here. So we'll use text style like this. And this text style will take a font weight argument with a font font weight dot bold. Here we go. I will format document. I will put my two comma and format once again. Good. Now we have two different uh, text format inside only the rich text. This is why we use this one. Okay. Next, as you can see, uh, the text is not on the right side. To do that, we use inside the column we can say uh, main axis alignment, main axis alignment dot start. Here we go. So now we have, uh, oh, as you can see, this has not worked. And this may be because we have another column over this one that the other one say, okay, I'm, I'm still on the middle. And this one is saying, okay, I want to be on the side. But the main one, we will need to change this one as well. So if we go up and we find the column right here of the list that generate, we can say the main axis alignment. Oh, sorry, it, it was not the main axis alignment. It was the cross axis alignment. So I will come back because the main axis alignment is like this and the cross is like this. So we use the cross axis alignment instead. And we use right here, the cross axis alignment dot start. Cross axis alignment dot start. 
And now it should work. No, and this is because we need it on the other one as well. And that will work then. If I go back up and I find my list.generate, my eight and my column, and I put it there, here we go, let's the magic appear. Perfect. So we have this like it by profile name. Next step will be to add more text and it will be the, uh, we can copy this one. We will say, and so I have my Instagram close to me and I know uh, how they write. So I will put a space and end. And after we will add another text pan like this one, copy and paste right under. And this one will say others and we'll use it like that. So we have like it by profile name and others. Good. After this one, we can add another rich text. So I will copy this one, all this uh, rich text. I will control C and I will paste right under. And this one, what it will say, will say profile name at start. So right like this, we'll say profile name, just like that. And after we will say, the, this is the most amazing picture by example. And this one will need to be bold. So I will delete this one instead and I will keep this. I will remove the other and that's it. So we have the profile name bold and the text pan uh, that is not bold. We will change the text to be space and we will say by example, this is the most amazing picture ever put on Instagram. This is also the best course ever made. Here we go. So as you can see, we have add some uh, description. I format document. I will go after the right here. I'll put my comma and format document once again. Good. So we have two uh, rich text. We will need a last little text and this one will be to say view all comment or something like that. So after this one, we say uh, text like this and we say viewed, uh, view all 12 comment by example. Okay. And we will need to add a style on this one, the style argument and the style like this text style, sorry, text style. Here we go. And in this text style, we'll add the color colors black 38. So color argument colors dot black 38. So it is a little uh, black with opacity, as you can see right here. So this look very, very similar to uh, Instagram page homepage. And now on the next video, what we will do is we will uh, create another page. So the search page to see uh, more about this application Instagram. But those buttons will not work inside this course, only the home page and the search page. So that's it for the home page. We have done pretty much everything. Uh, we could add something else at the end of this course and I will show you what it is. It is a, a refresh. Actually, we will do it on the next video. It will take 10 seconds. You know what? Let's do it right now. <laughs> I just changed my idea. So be the uh, refresh indicator. So we will need to right click on single child scroll view on the body. Oops, on the body. We will right click and we will say refactor with a, a widget. And this one will be the refresh indicator. That's it. We will need to add a on refresh function. And this function will be called by example on refresh. Okay, we will need to create this function and it will take maybe 10 seconds. So let's add a function right here. We will say uh, function void. And this function void will have uh, an async information. So we'll say on refresh because this is the name of the function. We will add a async because it is a, a future. Oops, sorry, I say function, it is future instead, future. And we have an async, and this async will wait for one second. So how do we say that? We say await future.delay, and then inside we say a duration. If you go over, we can see that it won a duration. 
So we add the duration and we say dot, uh, we put the, the parenthesis, sorry, uh, this, and then we can say second one. So it will wait for one second. So when we refresh now, it will just wait once again and go back. So that was it for this home page. We have done pretty much everything and see you on the next video. Bye.